I started doing these baskets in 2007, but I quickly found that research and historical references were a really important part of how I was going to portray and how I was going to express statements and messages. Not only were the ancestors eager to support me and my efforts, but they were impatient to have their stories told. So it, it didn't matter what idea I had, here was something that you know immediately produced another idea. I came home, I went to the Smithsonian twice on this fellowship, and I've, I've got over 60 ideas and studies for pieces that I want to continue. It changed the way that I looked at my work as far as thinking about how it would be preserved on down the line. I started keeping copious notes on both the thought process and about my resources. I may have an idea, and I might follow through with an idea eventually. These baskets are creating themselves. A lot of times, one basket, the splints in one basket, will reappear in three or four or five other baskets. I, I really believe that um, ancestors are having a very powerful hand in assisting me in this work. But those pieces have become several other key pieces in my collection. These splints are also being combined with the original lyrics of Ten Little Indians, which are pretty hostile words and combining it with photographs to show how perception of Indian people during boarding school times has carried over the fact that we are, were not really considered human beings at that time. We were considered less than human beings even as we were being assimilated into the white society. These baskets are continuing these messages, but they're kind of offshoots and they're working in different directions because apparently those are directions that um, we need better communication in <laughs> with our racial relations. In 2011, I was working on my first photo, the first basket that incorporated weaving a photo into it. It was about boarding schools. It took grand prize at Red Earth. It ended up in the newspaper the next morning. And that article inspired a, a Kiowa elder to make a long trip across the state to come up to Oklahoma City to see the exhibit. And she paid the admission fee and she came in and she listened intently as I was telling her about the statement of the basket. But when she saw the photographs of all the children woven into that lid, she began to cry. And she said, this piece belongs in a museum. We need to use it to let people know our history. It's one of our national treasures now. And it made me completely rethink my work, and it made me see the value of the historical reference in my work as, as a springboard point for this discussion that I want to have, that I want to inspire among the races. It made me accept the responsibility for the ancestors to help tell this story.